So in this Lords of the Fallen video, I bring you the most broken Viger XP farm I have seen. This method allows you to AFK farm unlimited amounts of that Viger. What this means is you can set this up before you go to school, work, out in a session, whatever. And when you return, you will have earned crazy amounts of Viger in which you can use to level up, buy gear, do whatever you want with. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so I was linked a video on my Discord. The video belonged to Crazy Gaming, uh, which showcased this farm, but I knew for an absolute straight up fact that this dude stole this farm that he's been doing for years now. Stealing those videos from those smaller creators for his own personal game. So what I did was I went on a search for the original creator. The first person I found to cover this spot was a dude called Iseroth, who I believe found this spot first. His channel can be found linked down below. Do go check him out and show him some love. Okay, so this spot will allow you to earn infinite amounts of Viga AFK. And it's so simple to set up. Once you do, you put your controller down, do your own thing, return when you want. When you do, there will be a ton of Viga for you to collect. The longer you leave this, the better, obviously. Okay, so how this works and why it works is, well, pretty straightforward. So you will need to have beaten the first two bosses of Pieta and the Scourge Sister Deli. Upon doing this, guys, you will have access to the next in line, Vestige Point, where this takes place from. So from the Vestige of Blind Agatha, which by the way, if you don't know the path to, I will show you in a second the route to this place. From the Vestige Point, you unlock after beating Pieta. So from this vestige point here, the vestige of Agatha, you need to enter that umbral state, that umbral realm. Upon doing this, run this way. Take a right at the end and slightly make your way back down where you would have come up. From this point guys, I'd recommend you taking out the few enemies that may hit you from afar. So use those range attacks to take these enemies out as they will interrupt your AFK spot. You will then need to use your lantern to basically move the platform towards you once on. Use the lantern again to move platforms into the center point right here. Upon you coming to this point guys, you want to come to this very edge as you can see me doing on the screen right now. This is that AFK spot. This is where you want to stand. Now because you are in the umbral realm, eventually after about five minutes or so, you will see that eyeball will have turned red with that Viga multiplier going up to a three times. What this means is every five minutes or so, you'll get kind of like a mini boss spawn in. We call him the Reaper. He spawns in in the umbral realm at that three times to hunt you down. And this dude can be a hard fight, but it does reward you if you can beat him a decent amount of that Viga. Actually, what happens, guys, when you're in this AFK spot, the spot you can see me on the screen right now, when he does spawn in, he falls straight off the map. What this means is, if you stand in this spot AFK, he will spawn in every so often, die on the spot, and accumulate that Viga in the distance. And he can do this for as long as you want. You will not be kicked. Worst case scenario is, the controller will die. I did this for literally guys about 15 to 20 minutes. All that happened to me was my controller died. That was it. And let's watch that Viga accumulate in the distance. Now what I will say is the Reaper of the Umbral Realm uh, does eventually start dropping in regards to the Viga he starts to give you upon his death. I think after about the fourth or fifth time of him dying, his Viga may drop from like 8k down towards that 4k mark, maybe even less dependent on your level. But as long as you are AFK guys, you will still earn free Viga while you do other stuff. I'd probably also recommend turning off that multiplayer too, so people don't invade your lobby and kick your ass while you are AFK here, because that would be kind of embarrassing. Don't forget you'll also earn those Umbral Scatterings too, 
These are currency used to purchase bus type items, so yes, keep that in mind. Now, we all know logic states this won't be the fastest Viga farm in this game, but for something which takes absolutely no effort while you do other things, it is an incredible farm, one you can easily take advantage of for sure. So, for the newish people to this game, to get here, you need to have beaten two bosses Pieta, who can be difficult and the Scourge Sister Delif. So upon you beating Pieta, you'll make your way to this vestige right here. From this point guys, I will lead you to this exact vestige you can come to to take advantage of this farm. Again, on your way though to this vestige, you need to beat the second boss of the Scourge Sister Delif. But she is quite easy, I won't lie. But upon defeating her, Making your way as I do to this next vestige, which you can uh, then go slightly back on yourself to set up this AFK farm. Yeah, it's definitely one you want to abuse, especially while it's in the game, because I'm pretty sure, guys, this will be taken out. So enjoy it while you can. But there we have it, guys, a great, great AFK farm, one you want to take advantage of. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.